my drone footage so if you want you can take a thing or two from me and apply it to your own and hopefully it helps you in some way shape or form for the experts out there save the bashing please um, I'm just sharing what I do not necessarily what's right or what's wrong so now that we've got that out of the way let's get this video going open your video editing program I use Filmora 9 that's just because I started with Filmora it was really cheap I liked it they evolved the software over time and as a result I just never had to change it at least not for YouTube so if you're Premiere Pro Final Cut Pro whatever you use uh, it's probably well not probably it is way more advanced than this and you shouldn't have a problem doing anything that I'm able to do your menus and settings might be a little bit different but that's pretty much it it's same basic stuff okay so let's import our uh, drone footage three clips that I'm working with I was filming I think on Sunday at uh, park Calvert Park in Brooklyn New York there we go we're just gonna drag him into the timeline always ask no match to media yes because it's 4k i think i was shooting at 4k 24 frames a second let me just double check and of course when you go to properties details it is 4k or decent alike and i was shooting in shot of priority don't ask why i have my uh reasons i'll share with you in another video if you're interested to know why i use shot of priority when i'm filming in the field a lot now just let me know in the comment section i'll make a separate video about that good so we've got our three clips uh the first clip it's a boat it's a tugboat pushing what looks like some containers so what i'll do i'll edit each clip separately because each clip is different right let's start with the boat the boat's moving i just like to get a general idea of where the clip is going i look at my skies and stuff nothing really looks blown out over here everything looks pretty much good so my next step is to hold it right there uh, this is my color button right here, this little artist paintbrush. Um, if you're using Final Cut or Premiere, I'm pretty sure you know what to use. Because I was filming with the Phantom 4 Pro, color grading should be ideally better in D-Log. However, D-Log locks your ISO at 500. You can't raise it, nor can you lower it. As a result, I use Decent Alike, and that's just where I'm comfortable right now will look for a nice point where I can see the sky I can see the boat close because the boat's got some red some white some green I can see the sky and I just color grade by my eyesight I mean I look at my screen that's the other thing you really need a screen that has good colors if you're using a screen that doesn't have accurate colors and you're color grading then when you go to look at it on your phone when you upload it to YouTube it might just look like crap but if you have a color accurate uh, screen like mine, I'll leave a link in the description to my screen if it's something that you want to upgrade to, just in case you don't have a good screen. If you have a good screen, then you're on your way to start color grading. These are the LUTs that came with my uh, uh, Filmora. I don't really use LUTs. I don't really like their LUTs. As a result, I don't use it, right? Uh, be it intense or not, I'm just not a fan of the LUTs that come with this stuff. So first I'll start with my exposure. I'll just play with these levers, right? Uh, there's the histogram moving over there. You can keep your eye on your histogram, see what's going on, what you're losing, and what's in terms of the blues. The blues are getting smashed on the right, and that means that they're getting blown out you're losing your blues so I don't really use the histogram too much I do glance at it every now and again but my eyes are on that picture so if I go down the picture just looks a little too dark for me if I go up it just looks too bright there goes the sky the sky's blown out like you can't see the blue anymore the blue has been crushed and it's all turned to white so that's a big no-no so I want my footage as bright as possible but not blown out so I'll play with it I'll probably crank up the exposure a little bit probably seven or eight as long as my sky is not blown out I'll crank up my exposure in this I think three is good if I go higher I start seeing a little green and I start losing the blue so I'll leave it around two three that's fine now my brightness usually <clears throat> I'll play with that and I'm looking at my clouds right now that's what I'm primarily interested in uh, the clouds so for this I don't like the water a little too dark so I'll turn up the brightness but I don't like it at zero either because I feel it's like too bright so I'll just turn it down a little bit probably minus seven play with that now my contrast I'll go all the way from the left all the way to the right to see how it affects the footage sometimes I like high contrasty videos 
depends on what I'm making and then sometimes I really don't like right now I'm not in the mood for all this contrast the water just looks a little too actually the contrast looks nice it does look nice so we're gonna go for a high contrast in this one uh, just about 10 or 11 we'll turn up the contrast a little bit the vibrance that's what gives it the punch look at that it's getting real vibrant but before I touch the vibrance I usually saturate first I usually hit my saturation look at the sky look at the look at the water the water is looking very greeny it's kind of losing its color so I'll turn the saturation down boom I like that that looks saturated enough I turn up my vibrance just to give things like a vibrance you know a brightness not necessarily it's necessarily a deep color uh, my highlights I'll play with it now right up I don't like my highlights up there goes my sky I bring my highlights down wow there goes the blue in the sky the blue looks great right now so I will keep my highlights very low because I like that blue effect in the sky to be left there my shadows I'll play with my shadows just looks a little too dark although it looks very nice very rich I'll turn up my shadows this looks a little too bright but again it's all preference but a little too bright for me so I'll turn my shadows down a little bit uh, not too dark let's keep it in the plus this time I'm just looking at my screen and determining what looks nice I can move the boat forward a little bit if I want to make sure that I have exactly what I'm looking for or bring it back a little bit there we go uh, my whites you bring up your whites there goes your sky you bring it down oh look at that blue All right so I like my whites uh, I want the sky to look a little real not just blue 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 you know and everything to be like blued out so I'll leave it at plus three my blacks I'll turn it up see how it looks turn it down see how it looks see your blacks are like really gone I like my histogram I glance at my histogram and I'll see it's bringing me back in the middle so I'll bring my blacks up a little right there that's good enough for me that's usually what I mess with I don't usually mess with these uh, that's it I don't even mess with these at the bottom here I just do light color grading decent like is like that you don't have to do a lot you just touch it up now what I'll do is I'll save this as a preset and I'll call it T1111 so when I come to presets over here and I go to custom I can scroll down and I see it right here T1111 so now that that's done and this is the look that I'm going for this is it here this is my finished product very bright vibrant and greeny blue I just I like the look and I'll just do whatever I like and that's what you should do too so here we are the jet ski clip this is the next clip we're gonna try and apply a preset here so where's my jet ski where are you oh jet ski here you are come back on this side come a little closer all right, here we are. That's the shot that I want. So I'm going to go over the preset. I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to try it. The one that I just saved called T11 that I used on the ship. Let's see how it works for the jet ski. Hmm. It actually works pretty good for the jet ski. Let's play it. I kind of like it. It works for the jet ski too. So, hey, if it ain't broken, you know what they say. Don't fix it. Now for the third clip. I will do the same I'm gonna take a look at it and make sure that it looks good here as well I am pretty happy with this I click OK and that's it all my footage is color graded now I can actually render the playback quality to be at a lower resolution because I've already done my color grading for this last clip I just want the jet ski passing over well under the drone that's pretty much it this one shot I realized I was going very fast here and then I had to slow down because I had the wind in my favor so we're gonna catch him right somewhere there oh, yeah. right here I think that's good we're gonna hit cut I'm gonna delete all of this excess because that's all waste I don't need that there you go as soon as he passes that's the end of that clip for me and I will condense this clip to make it smaller right there that's where I'm stopping that clip uh, let's go back to the first clip uh, let's slide it down a little bit over here I can see better here first clip 
Uh, see how the drone kind of jitters over there? I don't like that. So we're going to stop somewhere here. Cut. I don't want you don't want any jittery movement in your drone footage. So and then we'll just catch it like pulling away. Oh, I did some more rotations there. I'm always looking for the smoothest shot, but there we go. We're at the back here. I'll cut here. Maybe I can use this a bit. This one I can definitely use. Oh, till I started turning. You don't want those turns. Yeah, let's shorten that clip. Bring it right here. Let's take another look at it. That's really good enough. You don't need uh, drone clips to be really long. Let's look at this piece here and see if there's anything that I can salvage here. I think that looks pretty okay. So we have here where we're kind of going around the shot, kind of orbiting somewhat. And then the second clip is the drone pulling, like the boat pulling away. And then... Uh, maybe I'll extend this one a little bit. Let's see how the drone, how it's pulling away. Yep, just before the turn. We don't want the turning, no turning motions in there. We want nice, straight, or clean shots. There you go. That's good enough. I'll bring these two together. Bring these two together. And let's take a look at this last clip. This is the jet ski clip. That looks good. I'll cut that little piece out. And drag it over there. That's useful. We don't want too much. Was there movement in that? I don't like when the drone's moving too much. Okay, but it's moving in one direction. That's okay. Not switching directions. So the drone's just moving in one direction. That's okay. They are moving. They are moving. I like to go through my clips because I just don't know what I have. Like that's a different scene over there. I like that. I'll cut here. I'll go back. I'll play it to the point where I actually get the angle that it, the drone stays stable, which is right here somewhere, I think. So I'll condense that clip. I hit play. Oh, see the drone move there? We don't want that. We want when the motion is over. Here, right here, just to play it safe. Do we get the shot? Yes, the shot's very long. We don't need all that length. Alright, uh, matter of fact, I can condense it from here. I like my drone clips to be short. Here we go. I want to get that close-up clip. I know it's in there, so I'm looking for that next. I'll slide down over there. I'll let it run. Okay, that's another shot, I think, right here. Another angle that looks pretty good. So, because the drone kind of swooshes down. That's the shot I'm looking for. Wow. That's the shot I want. That's my main shot. I'm going to be running that shot for a while. That's cut right there. So, I'm kind of looking for when the drone is kind of swooping down towards the uh, jet ski. Here we go, there comes the swoop. So I'll start somewhere here by the swoop. Let's go swooping up. This is more of an aggressive swoop. So let's catch that aggression right there. There we go. This is all natural, I like this. It's smooth because I'm in Addy mode. I'm not in P mode, so the drone is just operating kind of smoothly. I think that is good as I kind of pull away from him over here. That's that's pretty much good. This is a nice long run. Wow, that was a long run. I think I ran with him for a good mile. Wow, okay, that I don't want. I don't want that movement, that turn. So I'm gonna stop it right here, I think is good. Before the drone moves, that's good enough. So what I'll do here, I'll delete this part here. And what I'll do here, I'll scrub through just to make sure that it's all, that he never leaves my frame. By hitting this little speed button here, fast, because there's no other people in there. It's just really the jet ski. Let's double this up times two. Let's close these clips up. 
all into one. Sometimes I go with effects. I like the shape. And let's go for this. This looks pretty cool. Let's make it a little smaller. We don't want to be shaking up the whole place. We just want a little bit of a shake. How about this? Whoa, I like that. We're going to make like a whole bunch of these effects. We'll do it at all the long clips. And that's pretty much it. What's a good video without a good intro or extra in this case? I got some intros here. And this one's pretty short. Oh, let's put that over there at the end. We have got to have music. I use YouTube Audio Library. It's all free music there. I usually like to go with cinematic. I'm just going to find a good song. So we'll put that here on the jet ski. The jet ski footage starts right here. So we'll shake things up right here. And we'll start the music right here. To line it up. All right. Let's start. It's definitely not going to be this long, so we're going to cut this song off right here. Put a cut in it. Delete. Back it up a little bit. I'll double click on this song and fade it out. You can see the little fade marks right there at the end. We're going to end it right here. Let's bring it up. I'll hit export. And that's it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like this video, do all the cool YouTube stuff, and of course, don't forget I'm giving away six drones, either the Autel Evo drones or the Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom drones. The winners get to choose six winners, six months in a row, when I hit, when I hit 1,800 patrons. If you're not a patron, head over to my Patreon account. All it takes is $1 a month, that's $12 a year, to support me, and in return, I will do my best to support my community. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you when I can.